Spicy presenta El Living Room I know, I know Yeah, I don't even know where to start Thank you. 
thank you so, so much for coming, Raquel. Oh, Angelica, of course. I came as fast as I could. I'm not feeling great, but I appreciate that you came um, just such short notice. So thank you for being here. Oh, of, of course, Angelica. I, I don't know. It's, it's been a lot of ups and downs, um, but I'm mostly just, I feel like I'm really depressed and I've been like trying to like make music to feel a little better, but it's not helping. Um, so I don't know, I thought I could talk to a friend. You sure you're not just in denial? Um, maybe. Could be. Sounds like me, yeah. Maybe you're just bargaining. Oh, I so maybe that's why I bit. called you. Uh, right, right, yeah, right, right, right. Like, oh yeah, she'll make it better. Oh yeah, definitely yesterday. Very yeah. angry. Mm -hmm. Today, just like more confused and like a lot of those things at the same time, but I... Uh, Definitely feeling that one today a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. I <sighs> what about acceptance? Uh, definitely not there. Oh, okay. okay. Um, need to work on that a little more. <laughs> um, but I thought maybe, because I the problem I think I'm having is that all of these th these things I'm like feeling at the same time. So there's, I don't, I don't know. There's. I feel like I need some order to them, so maybe can you help me try to put sure. them in an order? Yeah, of course. Okay, this goes first, right? Y easy? Oh, yeah. Then yeah. this, then, huh? Oh, no, this first for sure. Then this, then maybe like oh no, a that big first, that that's first. Yeah. No, oh, okay. At the <laughs> same time, is there an order to these? I'm pretty sure. No. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, if, yeah, I'm sure we could Google that, but <laughs> um, not right now. But maybe I mean the thing is that I do feel like there is a right order to this, but I really don't experience them. It's kind of one big mess. It's one big mess. Um, so I've been trying to like put it into words. It's helping a little to talk through it with you, yes. but I think it will help me so much more if we try to process all of this with some sounds. Oh, Angelica, that would mean the world to me too. Great, let's play some music. Let's play some music.
Get people are listening to us. <laughs> we have friends here. Thank you so much for coming. Hi. Hi. Ah, Raquel, I'm feeling so much better. Oh. Thank you for that. Oh. Me too. Oh. Masha, um, meet Raquel, Raquel Acevedo Klein, fantastic singer, composer, conductor, all of the things, excellent human, lovely person. Meet Masha, um, where to start? Andate, undisciplined artist, incredible, incredible filmmaker, a film that just won a really mm. great prize yesterday at the Trinidad, Trinidad y Tobago Film Festival, congratulations, felicidades. Um, yes. Que mas, que mas, performera, my fairy godmother, all of <laughs> Almost mother. <laughs> Almost mother, yeah, according to, according to, according to the guy, to the guy who, uh, in the deli <laughs> in Bushwick. <laughs> and yeah, just, yeah, I'm so glad you two are meeting each other. Yeah. I'm getting kind of hungry because it's been a lot of emotions and a lot of processing and then making good. music and then that's my excuse for like yeah, I need kind of I'm ready for some munchies Los munchies. 
and cheese. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the excuse is good. <laughs> And those are very fancy munchies. Very fancy munchies, starting with the fanciest of all. Rosita. Rositas. <laughs> so um, my <laughs> rositas, uh, pretzels, which, uh, did I tell you that I like to dunk them in Diet Coke? It's gross, it is I know. Gross. <laughs> it is gross. <laughs> it's really satisfying. Um, yeah. Platanutres. And also Ooh. some coconut uh, bars, uh, galletitas. Yeah, cookies. <laughs> yeah, some cookies. Yeah. And some water. Así que, yeah, help yourselves to some munchies. Those are citas, I wouldn't eat them unless they're from like the 80s because <laughs> now they make them, they feel like they're <laughs> like air. They're like Such nothing, a hipster. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, feel free to grab some munchies. Yeah. Look good. Uh, yeah. And what yeah. you guys were talking about before? Well, um, we were. Which is kind of, um, Raquel was helping me process some, like the loss of a, of someone close to me mm. recently, and so I haven't fe been feeling great. Thought I was feeling better, and then just again, kind of down. So she was helping me through some, mu like playing some music together. We talked through uh, some like kind of stages that people go through. Apparently mm. they go in an order, but that <laughs> never feel that way. So we were just kind of um, trying to unpack that in a way that makes more sense to us, which is with sounds. Um, and then we made some, so we made some music and I was thinking that, uh, oh, like I need some kind of something light. Yeah, So Sounds like it. I also love to play games when I'm eating munchies, so I thought we could play a game really? today. Are you up for it? Sure. Yeah? Okay, sure. so the game for today is called El Yolo Challenge. Okay, or YOLO. Um, so, uh, we all um, talked about our, like before this, we talked about different things that, like our bucket list of things that we'd like to do before we die. <coughs> and we each came up with five things. I don't know if you remember them, but um, how, let's, let's, let's start with matcha. <laughs> matcha. <laughs> I, I know there was a lot of traveling involved in yours. So can yeah, you walk I, us through really quickly of your, uh, for your bucket list? I don't know why, but I, my bucket list is like, I want to go to Australia to see a koala bear in person. And that will scratch me and kill me, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I want to see a koala bear in person. And um, I want to go to Japan, and I want to go to uh, India. Because uh -huh. I like Indian food, really. Okay, no, yeah. No. <laughs> and you have two more. Wait. Um, ah, I want At to Northern see the Lights. Northern Lights. Yeah, because we had that one yeah, in, in common. common. Yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> Raquel, how about you? What are some things that you'd like to do before La Muerte? I think llegue? if I can recall on my list. Yeah. I put uh, befriend Maya Rudolph because who doesn't love Maya Rudolph? Oh yeah, that's a really good one. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, a, that's a big bucket list one. Yeah, mine are a little bit more attainable, I think. Yeah. But <laughs> you go. I'm, I'm gonna think that I went way. All you the know? Way. I went all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I think I described it in percentages, where I was like, my list is going to be like. 10% silly, like, uh, 25%, you know, serious and 100% embarrassing. So, <laughs> okay, <laughs> but my rule of is, yeah, that's not embarrassing at all. That should be in mine too. What's, what else is in yours? My, actually, I should put this at the top of the list, but forever, so my, my mom's first language is Spanish, mm -hmm. and I forever have wanted to improve my Spanish to be as okay. as good as my mom. And so. I know I really push you whenever I <laughs> talk really fast to you. You do really well. Yeah. I try. I we'll try. keep practicing. Okay, <laughs> that one feels very attainable. What else? Um, you know, I've been at home uh, in Brooklyn my whole life, and I've been wanting to get out of the house, especially during the pandemic. So I hope to travel through music as we've been trying to travel emotionally, but also just yeah. across the world, expand my horizons. Great. So that's one. Oh my goodness. Tickets are cheap. Right now, so, <laughs> right, you know, right, yeah. attainable. Also. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's, yeah. that's, building my own pyramid that I could you know, take. We take had, it, that, on the that was I had harder. that dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know if she would recommend having that dream after <laughs> building this set. But There's going to be one available after Thursday. So. <laughs> right. Yes. Attainable. 
I think you got three I or four. Yeah, yeah. Three um, in there. I had the nor Northern Lights. Uh -huh. um, I want to go to Bali and play in a gamelan ensemble oh, there. Yes. That's a big one. I want to also jump out of a big waterfall. Mm. I'm thinking of Junque in no. Puerto Rico. Oh my God. But it's, yeah. if you know me, you know that's like impossible. <laughs> so, but I like to think that I want to do that. Um, I also want to take like a really long spa day. The but yes. that, but the en that ends with 20 puppies <laughs> and me on the floor rolling with them. <laughs> I would like a lot of them to be bulldogs, like English bulldogs. Yeah. It's like okay. there's rolls and rolls for days, <laughs> the best. Oh, yeah. I, I would also like to, if I'm traveling to another country, just go clubbing and pretend that's me. <laughs> that that's just what I do. Yeah, that's it. That's so my you like list. go clubbing. <laughs> that's what you want to do. That's and as I said that, I remember that our wonderful producer, Jennifer, um, is going to surprise us with one item from each of our lists for us to do right here. I really hope she doesn't pick the clubbing one oh, for me. I am not ready for that. This is a real um, game. So, okay, so first we're gonna start with Raquel. Raquel, oh, you actually get like an actual gift. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, wow. no one knows, really, we don't know what's it's in heavy. here. It's heavy. <laughs> Maybe it'll be one of the ones you said. Maybe it's one that you forgot and you'll remember now. Do I just do I open it? What yeah, just go yeah. for it. Go for it. Like a like a three year old. Let's see. <laughs> Any guesses on what might be in there after hearing Packer's bucket list? It's not every day you do a show and you get a present. My goodness, this is great. <laughs> I hope it is great. I, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> so well packed. Okay, what is in there? Oh, muchas gracias. Okay. This is so wonderful. Oh but my gosh, I need to it? step up my verbs. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. Say one now. Learn one now with us right here. Uh -huh. Certificar. Oh. Certi yeah, certificar. Yeah. Like that's a good one. Certify, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Gracias, Jennifer. Okay. Now we're ready for Masha's. Let's see what's in yours. I really hope it's oh a quarter. Oh my it's an all-paid travel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> an Australian resort. We're like, what? <laughs> Raquel is like, got it. <laughs> okay, I got it. Uh huh. Ah, nice. Okay, nice. okay. Woohoo! Okay. I love it. <laughs> it's for your travels. <laughs> for my travels. <laughs> 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 That's perfect. Oh, you have to for put all on. the trips. I probably have to wear one for each country. Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, wait. I remember one of yours that you did not mention. Whale watching. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Whale watching. That's right. Here we are. I, and I'm going to watch it from a plane, apparently. <laughs> it is all happening. <laughs> wow. Wow. I think I'm satisfied. It can come out of my bucket list right Dreams now. Dreams coming true in a living room. Yeah. Yes. Satisfied. I could die right now, actually. <laughs> Please don't, because this, still... this is part of one of my, one of my bucket lists. After the show. <laughs> or after Thursday. Yeah. No, don't. Okay. Oh. Wow, Ooh, the box big. is big. Box. What was that you asked for? <laughs> okay. All right. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! Am I gonna show you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I have a chamomile mask. <laughs> Spa. Man. I have a coconut mask. I have a. Ooh. <laughs> Nice touch. Mascarilla de carbón. That's a good one. Mascarilla de hierbabuena. Oh. <laughs> I like the packaging in this. It's very dramatic. It's, it's also very waiting for tonight. Uh -huh. But I also got... <laughs> but the puppies. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> Dreams coming true again. 
No English bulldogs, let's see. But it's okay. They're all very cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now you need to just <laughs> throw yourself on the floor and I'll just throw them over you. So I, I thought about, yeah. about it puppies. and then I remember I have this dress and I was like, no, <laughs> it's not happening. It but happen I will, later. I, it will happen later. Something yes. else Jose will In take care of. Yeah. <laughs> My bucket list is becoming Jose's to-do <laughs> list. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Jennifer, so much. Let's give a wonderful a round of applause yeah, to our wonderful producer, you. Jennifer. Thank you. Okay. I want the whale. So, Masha, um, I know that you do many, many things. Oh my God. And I, I always wonder, like, because you're a filmmaker, you're, di you're directing this, whatever this is, mm -hmm. um, you're, you're also a singer. Tell us about all the different things you do and the intersections between them, how you see them all as you. Mm. Well, well, well. I mean, it's not something that I planned. I had this like artistic inclination, I would say. I didn't, I didn't have an option, I didn't grow up in, a, in an environment where Uh, being an artist was necessarily a possibility, you know? It's, um, so I just sort of grew up with this, you know, like I think a lot of people, you know? Like, why do I have to study to make money and to survive or whatever? But I always had, every time an opportunity came, came about of doing something artistic in school or whatever, I was like, always like, oh, yeah, me, you know? The one thing that became really clear to me at some point in my early 20s was that... <laughs> Not too long ago, obviously. <laughs> of course, um, yeah. Yeah. It was that um, I wasn't going to be a happy person, and I didn't want to be a person that's, you know, whatever, 75, 80, whatever, and wake up and feel like I regret it not doing all these different things. Mm -hmm. And that became like a reality check. And, um, and also I acknowledged that I was afraid of, when you're an artist, at least the type of art that I appreciate usually, um, It has to do with becoming vulnerable in front of people and becoming vulnerable with what you do. And, and I was a very shy, I'm a very shy person. I know people don't believe that, but I am, a sh okay, I used to be shy, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, so I, I started doing things to put myself out there and just to, even though I was afraid, I was scared, and, then, and I realized that it made me happier and that people liked it and that I did have something to say. That I knew for sure as well. Mm -hmm. That it was in, that I that I want. There were things that I wanted to talk about. There were things I wanted to say and explore. So that I just sort of you know went along and just kept doing things as they came about. You know, and it, and you I keep doing that. And I keep oh, doing yeah. that. So <laughs> yeah. And I think I mean I remember when you were crazy enough to say yes to directing this and to being a partner in crime um, for this adventure. That I. As I was thinking about the topics, I was like, we have to have one about La Muerte. Yeah. Um, and I kept thinking about the incredible film, film that you recently did, Perfume de Gardenias, which was at Tribeca this year. Um, and yeah, just your, your lens on death is really refreshing and also really, it really resonates with mm -hmm. a lot of people. I was there with Raquel actually and mm -hmm. um, We talked a lot about how much, like, it's so specific, but also yet, so it just, it just hit in all the right places in a way that I've never felt before. Um, so can you tell us more about the film and also, like, where the curiosity for death or, or obsession, even, we've talked about that, too. Like, yeah, where does that come I mean, from? It, it comes from fear. I, you know, I really grew up fearing death, and I just felt that I, I didn't want to live like that. I... I wonder how fearing death was becoming something that got in the way of many things, of living many things, of making decisions, you know? And actually, even when I usually, when I go into performance, like, you know, musical performance and stuff like that, I, I think about death because I think this moment, this moment we were living right now, mm -hmm. it's never going to repeat itself, you know? It's like unique. And if you die when you get out of work out of here, so you know that's it. So, I, I sounds maybe kind of dark, but 
it's sort of what I use all the time in my life for mm-hmm. doing the things I do. That's why I try to enjoy them, try to be present. It's not, and it's not easy, but I always sort of go back <laughs> to that, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> and seeing my right. parents, my, my parents were, you know, sort of a lot older than the parents of my, um, you know, people of my age. And um, so when my dad st- um, got sick and was bedridden for the last two years of his life, my mom took care of him. And she had always been a very active person, especially in church. And uh, when, But when he got bedridden, she just like stopped going. To ch- she would only go to Sunday Mass, and that was it. She was not involved in anything else and would take care of him all the time. And one day I was visiting them, and sh- I hear this like laughing and giggling at the front of the house, and I go to see what's going on, and she's talking to friends from church, neighbors, and whatever, and they're like, I was like, oh, hi, how are you doing? What's going on? And they're like, oh, um, the guy, this person from the street just died. And they looked like kind of like smiling, you know, and kind of, and I was like, okay, um, <laughs> why are they sort of happy? And they're like, oh, so the, the wake is uh, to not today and tomorrow, and uh, are you going to go? Are you going to go? And my mom looks at me like, oh, would you stay with your dad so I can go to the funeral? And I was like, um, yeah, sure, of course. You know, she was excited like I have not seen her in a while. And I looked at these women, all excited and talking about, you know, who's going to take who and when. And well, I was like, oh, my God would they be willing to kill to have something to do? And I just thought, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and that thought sort of stayed with me for a while. And then around that same time that year <clears throat> in Puerto Rico, there was this young guy who was involved in the, uh, you know, traffic, in the drug trafficking world. He knew he was going to be dead in, you know, less than a year. And he went to a funeral home near his house and, you know, he bought, he brought this new clothing and told the director of the funeral home, listen, the day that I get killed, they get, the day that I die, I want to be wearing this and I want you to not lay me down, lay me down in a coffin. I want to be standing up in a corner of my apartment. And that's what they did. El famoso muerto parado. And that's the famous muerto parado. And that became like a big controversial thing. And I just thought it was fascinating. You know, the people who were offended by it, the people who were pro it. The, the whole conversation was so interesting to me. And I, was, and I just thought, oh, what if I take that space and give this space to this character of an older woman who finds um, that as a space where she can express creativity and be who she is after all these years, you know? Uh, and does that kind of funerals, like, you know, peculiar funerals for her point of view, no? Oh, Not funerals like, like no that, other so. in that film. So, what? Oh, the yeah, funerals yeah. in that film are like none other, and the music and the funerals, it's just, you all have to see Perfume de Gardenias. Um, Thank you so much, Masha, for, mm-hmm. for sharing that with us. Yeah. And you're going to share a song with us. You're going to perform, too. Yes, and, I am. And you're going to perform one of my favorite songs of yours, que se llama Haja. Tell us yes. what Haja means. Well, part of the song, it, that's what it does. It teaches. It teaches people. Yeah, I know. It's, it's entertainment at its best. Edu- edu- edutain- edutainment? <laughs> entertainment. Yes, that's good. Uh, so, you know, I know there's some people here who know the song so they can sing along, but, um, but yeah, like you say, it has sort of become an anthem, which is something that's very, you know, beautiful. I never thought that that could happen, but it has become sort of an anthem, especially for the queer community in Puerto Rico. So that's been like a, a wonderful thing to be part of, you know, and... So, yeah, there you go. And what let's, does it mean to be Haya? Yeah. I oh, guess sorry. we're going to find I'm out. Sorry. We're going to find out in the song, you're right? We'll find out in the song. Yeah, I think, we'll find you know? out in the song. Okay, Macha Colón. Haya. Y 
y pienso con qué gown me las voy a poner. Understand what's going on and what the song is about. Anyone has an idea, Haya, what it means now? Do, do, do you know? Anyone, people, Haya? Who's Haya? Who's Haya? Who's Haya? Anyone, Haya? Anyone, Haya? No? Okay, Haya. It's to be found, like my cuatro player says, it's to be in order with the universe. I say, it's to be happy with yourself. And when you're at in life. So now that you know, are you ready to sing with me? Esther Haya? Yeah? Are you ready? Yeah? I don't hear you. You ready? Yeah? Okay, can you say it? Haya, estoy Haya. Estoy Haya. Estoy Haya. I got you too. Okay. Estoy allá, estoy allá, estoy allá, estoy, estoy, estoy allá. But like my uncle, Walter Mercado, used to say, 
Yeah, thank you. Lots and lots of love. Mucho abrazo, mucho amor. Peace. Thank you. Haya era por la Macha Colón. Uh. That's Raquel, that's a new verb for you too. Yeah. Haya era. Exactly. Sí, opin, haya. <laughs> Gracias, Masha. Okay. I feel much better. Mm. Hey, what's up? Who's calling ring, us today? Ring. Let's see. Ring, 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 ring. ¿Quién es? Who's here? No puedo creer. Miss Colombia herself, mi comadre Lido Pimienta. Un aplauso para Lido. Buena. Buena, mi gente. Hola, Lido. How are you? Espectacular. <risa> lo sé, lo sé. ¿Estás allá? Estoy más allá que para un... <risa> Lido. So, we've been talking to death about death today. And I, you know, I, when they always say that girls, like little girls, they always dream about like their wedding and how it's going to be. So, I feel like in a character um, in your film, Masha, as I always kind of thought about like what would my dream funeral be sure. like, um, and I was curious if you, Lido, if you have some thoughts on what would your dream funeral be like. Well, there will be a lot of cake. A lot of what? Little cake. 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 Okay. cake. Oh, yeah, same. Cake. That's good. Cake. Um, tres leches cake. <laughs> oh, obi. Uh, flan. Wow. Arroz, yes. arroz de, de leche. Uh huh. Yes. We will serve arroz de coco, arroz de camarón. Oh yes. I want to go to. I mean, I'm basically. I mean, it's. I just want people to go and eat and remember me. Um, everyone needs to be wearing very fabulous clothes. Uh-huh. Like, if you're going to wear black clothes, like, they need to be fabulous. Like, give me a dramatic sleeve. Give me a dramatic <laughs> shoe. Because uh, I'm going to be watching. I'll be dead, oh, but I'll then. be watching. Well, I think that's what it is. Like, for me, it's a party. It has to be a party. Um, I think that I will be transitioning wherever when I when I die. It, it, it's you know we have to celebrate it because I lived such a incredible, intense life full of love and very intense, very intense life that I that I, that I live. So I feel like we just have to celebrate the day that I die. It's a day of celebration. Whenever my anniversary comes rolling, you gotta wear your best shoes. You gotta wear your best clothes and eat a lot of cake and it will bring you abundance and joy and love. So that's what I want to do. That's what I want y'all to do. I love that. Thanks for sharing that. How about music? Are you thinking there's going to be any music playing? Is it going to be like Lido Pimienta's records playing or what would you like to be playing at your funeral? We should play a bunch of Afro-Colombian music, Totora Mopocina, Petona Martinez, Martina Camargo. Nice. Um, we should have, I mean, I'm basically, it's just like, it should just be like a sexteto or San Basilio de Palenque, a burial, like people are going to be playing live and Afro-Colombian music, sexteto, tambora. That's, I think that's what should happen. And that if there's like no pandemic party. and we have to do it on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> when that happened because that might happen <laughs> maybe a dj too we should have like you know, in the morning is the uh -huh. live music and then at night have yeah. a dj yeah but i, I but not a, i don't want a, some dude not not a dude like we got it a white dude <laughs> as a dj got it like a white dude like a white dude with a hawaiian shirt no 
No. No. That, that sounds like Unless a... it's some like guy from Poland that only plays like underground metal music. We want him. We want him. <laughs> Noted. Okay, we're making notes. Lido. Gracias por compartir. Thank you so much for sharing that. I know you're in Nueva York right now. Um, and you're yes. here for a little while, so I'm hoping I get to see you again also in person. Before you leave, can you tell us why you're here and what are you doing? Ah, no big deal. Um, just here um, <laughs> as the second ever uh, woman composer for the New York City Ballet. Woo, woo, woo. Um, so first non-Euro descendant. The last one was this woman at, at 25 years ago. So, eek, <laughs> get it together. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um, yep. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, I composed this piece for this wonderful uh, choreographer called um, Andrea Miller. So it's actually the first time in the history of the New York City Ballet that a duo of choreographer and composer Both women um, are working in conjunction and making Ooh. a piece together, commissioned by the New York City Ballet. Amazing. And the premiere is on the 30th, so I've just been rehearsing, and I that's why I'm not there, because um, I need to, you know, take care of the voice, because I can't mess that up. You know, there's a lot of haters out there giving you mal de ojo, so you gotta show them. You gotta take care of the voice. <laughs> And Lida, you've composed such an amazing piece. I've been really fortunate to see it every step of the way since you started the ideas and all with uh, MIDI instruments. And so I can't wait to hear it with this amazing orchestra and your incredible voice. So thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be with us to share your dream funeral. <laughs> Gracias, comadre. Te quiero. Chao. Gracias, mi amor. Bye, everybody. Te Bye. veo pronto. See you soon. Yes. I'm going to add to the bucket list that I want to go see the show. <laughs> oh, yes. We'll make that happen. Oh, see. there you go. We'll make that happen, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm just so grateful for all of you for being here, for Masha, for Raquel for being here, and feeling much better, if you can tell from the beginning of the show. I would love to also hear some music from Raquel, because we played together, Ooh. and I was kind of in the zone and playing with you, but I want to just like relax and enjoy your music. Let's of listen course. to of Raquel course. Acevedo Klein. <laughs> so I thought I might improvise for you all today. Um, think of, when I think of la muerte, I think of the fact that death and dying is a part of being, uh, is a part of living. And so I thought I might uh, let that marinate a little bit by including some passages of music that I've grown up with, um, which includes a piece of Hebrew text um, uh, uh, from what's called the Mourner's Kaddish. Um, and it's something that I think builds on that idea of like, yeah, death is kind of a part of being and it's something that uh, is, is not only part of our life, but an important part to acknowledge. Um, and so I hope to acknowledge that through music as well.
If you've ever had that phone call, it takes an instant, a syllable, to know that something 
It's very it's warm. warm. Yeah, a bit. A bit. A bit. A bit. A bit. It, 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 it takes an instant life. 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 When you rubber tap, 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 when you
the, the little fire that keeps the air balloon in the air turns off. Okay? So in the count of three, you're gonna uh, scream. You're gonna scream because the air balloon is out of control. Out of control. Everybody, one, two, ah! Out of control, out of control. Ah! And then the fire turns off. Okay? So vuelvan para aprender el fuego. You're stable. Nothing happened. No pasa nada. Está bien. Todo está bien. Fue un subtito. And that's life. Nothing happens. Feeling better? I'm definitely feeling better. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Masha Colon. Sí, un aplauso. <laughs> Thank you for being crazy enough to say yes to directing this and also for being even more crazy to say yes, I'll be in an episode too. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias, Raquel. That was gorgeous. Thank you so much. Gracias a Lido. Thank you to Lido for joining us through el WhatsApp. <laughs> Mela for that very relaxing meditation. <laughs> Thank you to the amazing um, team at WNYC for having me and my guests and just letting us use this as a playground for experimenting. And yeah, thank you all so much for coming to my living room. Now, please help me find the rest of my house. Adios. <laughs> 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 <laughs>